Hey guys, it's Joe from Eastwood. In this video, we're gonna be breaking down everything you need to know about buying a multi-process welder. We're gonna walk you through all of what Eastwood offers as far as combining MIG, TIG, and ARC into one machine. We're gonna cover the three multi-process welders that we offer. That's the MP140i, the MP200i, and the MP250i. There's a few things that all these welders have in common, so we're gonna start right there. Firstly, all these machines are three-in-one MIG, TIG, and ARC welder. All of them include a TIG torch, MIG gun, electrode holder, a regulator, shielding gas hose, grounding clamp, and they can all weld aluminum with the optional spool gun. Secondly, all these machines feature a very user-friendly LED display, allowing you to easily dial in your settings. And thirdly, they all feature the latest IGBT inverter tech. That gives you a nice stable arc, and it means you could also run these off a generator. And lastly, of course, all these machines are covered with a very solid Eastwood three-year warranty. We're gonna kick things off with our most budget-friendly unit, the MP140i. This is a welder I recommend to anyone that's looking to start welding, or if you want all the welding functions in one machine that's easy to move around and you're on a budget, this is gonna be the one. This can MIG weld anywhere from 30 to 140 amps and scratch start TIG and stick weld anywhere between 30 and 70 amps. That means you can MIG weld sheet metal up to 3 16 flux core up to a quarter, TIG weld up to an eighth, and stick weld up to a quarter inch. The duty cycle is going to be 30% at 90 amps. This is a fantastic starter welder. It only needs a 120 volt regular wall outlet to run, so you don't need a 240 in the garage in order to start learning all these welding processes, which is a great feature for the beginner. Now, another huge benefit about this machine is that it's gonna be relatively small. It only measures 19 by nine and a quarter by 17 and only weighs 34 pounds. And since you can run this on a generator and you don't need shielding gas to run with flux core, this is a great welder to bring to the track, to the work site or over to a buddy's house. Some other great features, the cables are all nice and long, at least 10 feet all around. You get some other stuff too. I already mentioned the shielding gas hose and the regulator. You also get an 023 wire spool, collet, collet bodies, nozzles, and some spare contact tips as well. This has the ability to run a four inch or eight inch spool of wire, and the drive motor is very nice and heavy duty. Won't slip or skip on the wire. This comes with a spot weld timer so you can easily and repeatedly make clean spot welds every time. All in all, a great portable welder that keeps the barrier to entry as low as possible and it allows the beginner to learn all of these welding processes with one budget-friendly machine. Moving up in the range, we have the MP200i. This takes everything that's great with the 140 and keeps a lot of it the same. As you can see, these machines look very similar. The MP200i can run on a 120 volt wall outlet, just like the 140, but here is the kicker. This will also run on a 240 outlet like you'd expect with a welder, and when you have it on the 240, you can get way more power out of this machine. This can MIG weld at anywhere from 30 to 200 amps and scratch start TIG and stick weld between 30 and 170 amps. This is a huge improvement over the 140, that means you can MIG weld metal up to 3 eighths of an inch thick, which is twice as thick as what the 140 can do. You can TIG weld up to a quarter inch. Again, that's twice what the 140 can do. You can also flux core and stick weld 3 eighths of an inch, which is a good improvement over the 140's quarter inch capabilities. The duty cycle is gonna be a little bit stronger too. This is rated for 20% at 200 amps. This is gonna be a little bit bigger. It measures about 20 and a half inches long, 13 inches wide, and 23 and a half inches tall, and still weighs the same as the 140 at 34 pounds. So it's barely any harder to move around, which makes this the one I'd want if I was away from the garage. It's just worth it for the extra capabilities. Just like the 140, all the cables are at least 10 feet long. You get a shielding gas hose, a regulator, an 023 wire spool, collets, collet bodies, nozzles, and some spare contact tips. Again, this can run the four inch or eight inch spool of wire. You get the spot weld timer functionality, and this comes with the adapter cord to allow you to run on either a 120 or 240 volt outlet. This is still a great portable multi-process welder that comes with a ton of extras and is capable of welding thicker material on either a 120 or 240, a great mid-range option. All right, moving on to the king of the multi-process machines, the MP250i. 
Oh boy, is this a good one. Not just a good welder for a multi-process, but just a good, fantastic welder in general. As you guys could probably guess by the name, this machine can weld at 250 amps. And at 250 amps, it has a frankly amazing duty cycle at 60%. Even crazier than that is the 100% duty cycle at 190 amps. Very impressive stuff. This can arc and MIG weld up to half inch steel and stainless. This is also capable of welding aluminum up to a quarter inch with the optional spool gun. And of course, this does TIG weld and it can do it in thicker material than any of the other welders that we offer. And that includes the dedicated TIG machines. While the other TIG machines top out at a quarter inch, this can do all the way up to three eighths of an inch thick. And a huge bonus here, the MP250i is the only machine that features true DC TIG with high frequency start. The other smaller MP machines are only scratch start. So that's a giant plus in the TIG welding category for the 250i. Now this has all the functionality of the other machines that we looked at today, and this adds in some more with 2T and 4T cruise control modes. This can also hold the larger eight inch or 12 inch spools of wire, and the drive roller is upgraded to include a second roller to ensure there's no wire slippage. A small but nice touch is that there's built-in storage to hold your filler rod tubes as well. Just like the others, this comes with all three torches for MIG, stick, and TIG, all of which have even longer 12-foot cables, which is very nice, allowing you to get very comfortable. Another thing that allows you to get more comfortable is the rocker-style foot pedal, which is great for the TIG welding that this machine is capable of doing. Now, the welder is massive, but it does have built-in wheels. There's also room for two gas bottles, so you can keep your MIG and TIG shielding gas hooked up at all times, allowing you to almost instantly hop between whatever welding function you want to, and that is where this machine really shines. You can probably tell that this is my favorite, not just for the multi-process units, but maybe out of all the welders that we offer, it's capable and it has everything you need out of a serious multi-process welder. Press this button right here to subscribe. We're giving away a MIG 180 at 500,000 subscribers. Make sure you head over to our YouTube channel. We post tons of great how to weld content over there. If you're just getting started, make sure you check that out. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Joe, make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.